I want to go back into Revelation chapter 17, where I left off. Uh, I think it was in uh, verse uh, 12. And it says this, And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings, one hour with the beast. See, receive power at kings one hour with the beast, with the false prophet. See, the false prophet is the head. He tell those world leaders what to do. See, the ten horns, they're going to be ruling the world. He will tell those ten horns what to do. That false prophet, that last pope that will come in during the ten horn, get here. Because you can go back into Daniel, Daniel chapter 11, where he made a league with those, those nations. Daniel chapter 11, I think. Chapter 11 and verse uh, 23, and says, I'm going to go with verse 21 first. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person. That's the Antichrist, that false prophet. He gonna be that vile person. To whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably. See, he gonna come in peaceably, that false prophet, by flattery. And obtain the kingdom by flatteries. See. Because people like flatteries. Yeah. They just like a bar meet a, a girl. First thing you do, he'll flatter her first. Make her laugh and stuff like that. You know, and that's what people love. You know, that's how they deceive. By flattery. Or their nice word. Or they speak plain, nice word. And they deceive many. You know, I just like politicians. If they are good spokesmen. If they can speak plain and nice and what, tell people what they want to hear, you know, that's what the people will go for. That's why the, the ones that do that, and they usually win. You know, same with the Antichrist, that false prophet. It'd be a flatterer, you know, to tell people, make believe that they're nice, you know, they're a good person, and all the time they are a deceiver. Read on in verse uh, 22. And with, and with the arm of a flood shall they be overflown from before him and shall be broken yea, also the prince of the covenant. And verse 23 said, And after the league made with him, he shall work deceitfully, for he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people. You see, after the league made with him. See, uh, the league is a group of nations. So he will become strong after that, you see. But not by his power, but by the ten horn power, because he made a league with those ten kings. Ten horn, this is how you become strong. See, a lot of people do not understand that. You put the pieces together, you know, as those ten king. That's why he becomes strong. Because those ten king will be ruling the world. You'll give power to those ten king. One hour with the beast, with the false prophet. The, the, the second beast, you read in Revelation chapter, chapter 13 and verse 11. He's the second beast, that false prophet is the second beast. Not this pope now, but the, the pope that will come in during the time of the ten king. You know, the last pope during the time of the ten king. Get here. That's when the two witnesses probably will come around during the time of the ten king or uh, around that period of time. And the two witnesses will come. 
uh, when the Antichrist get here. I say, but see, but the ten horn usually the ten horn get here first. Then that uh, a little horn will come up among them afterward. Because the little horn was in the third beast, you know, one of the four heads in the third beast. He came in when the ten horn showed up. He he got he got out from the third beast. When one of the head those four heads, so he got with the ten king that made the fourth beast. All right, now back to Revelation uh, chapter seventeen. It says, uh, chapter 17 and said, verse 13 said, they have, they have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast and to the false prophet. These shall make war with the lamb and the lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords, king of kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. See, and that's the saints, those that are with him. And verse 15 says, he, he said unto me, The water which thou sawest, where the whore sit it, are people and multitude and nation and tongue. See, see the whore sit it all around the world is false church. You know, the Vatican, the false church, the Roman Catholic Church, they sit around the world. All right. Verse 16, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. See, I'm telling the horn, get mad at her. Like I said, a woman rides the beast, and the horse get mad at you. You riding the horse, horse get mad at you and throw you off and destroy you. Same thing with that, those ten horns got to do with that whore church. They get mad at her and destroy her and burn her with fire. By the way, we read about in Revelation chapter 18. For God had put, in verse 17, but God had put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God be, shall be fulfilled. See, you will give their kingdom to the beast till the word of God be fulfilled. Then they're going to destroy that whole church. All right, in verse 18, and they tell you that woman that rules over the kings of the earth, like I was telling you. See, all right, verse 18 said, And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. See, reigned and mean ruled over the kings of the earth. See, the woman ruled over the kings of the earth, and people can't see that. You know, that woman tell the kings what to do behind the scene. You know, make war, kill people, all that. You know, the woman rides the beast. The woman is the, the head, the false prophet is the head of the church, the Roman Catholic Church. And he tell those kings what to do. You know, and the king go along, it's like with Nebuchadnezzar. He had the, the sheriff and all that stuff, the governor and all that stuff, and he told all them what to do. And everybody had to obey and bow down and set up that image. You see, he tell you in Revelation chapter 13, the false prophet calls people to receive the mark of the beast and to bow, bow down to that image that he said that the people should make an image to the beast and that they should worship the image of the beast. See, he's the false prophet. And tell you that in Revelation, I think in 19 and, and 19 or 20. I think I, may, I can find it. But I, I think it's tell you that in chapter 19. Yeah, I 
think, yeah. In verse 20, it says, And the beast was taken with him, the false prophet, that wrote miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. See, the false prophet will see, deceive the people which have the mark of the beast, and them that worship his image. See, he said that they shall make an image to the beast, the first beast that he that got wounded. False prophet said that the people made an image and made the people to bow down and worship it. Whoever shall not bow down and worship the image of the beast should be killed. This is what he said, you know. So everybody had to bow down and look like Nebuchadnezzar did. Done the same thing. It's the false prophet that he is the uh, religious leader and a political leader. It's all in one. See, God running the, 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 the religion and the government all in one. Back in the Moses time, everything was in one. It tell you how to dress, it tell you everything. How to do the animal sacrifice, all that. With the laws, the commandments, all that came from Moses. It came from God. God gave it to Moses to give to the people. Everything was all in one. And that's what the Antichrist would be doing. Nebuchadnezzar did the same thing. He had everything in one. He ran the government and he ran the, the religion, the worship. They had to bow down to the image. It's the same thing. And the people can't see that. I mean, the government and the religion is, is separate. It's not separate. It's all together. It's one. God set it, in the, set it up in the beginning all in one. You know, the same thing as not. Antichrist do the same thing, set it up in one. Nebuchadnezzar did it back then, it was all in one. Why people can't see that? Because they are deceived. They listen to these false prophets, false teachers, and they are deceived. And they deceive many. Just like the Lord Jesus Christ says. But this is all I have for y'all today. But the woman, the, the, the church, the false church, is from the Vatican, from Rome, that false church that rules over the kings of the earth. The Bible clearly tells you that. The woman represents the church. They got the true church and got the false church is a woman. The true church is a woman. It's the same thing. You know, it's like false prophet and true prophet. You know, it's like people that tell the truth and people that lies. You yeah, have both, you know, evil and good, same thing. But this is all I have for y'all, but I just want you to show y'all that, that the that church, you know, will deceive the people in the last days. Thank you, and may God bless y'all.